The Little Old Man Who Could Not Read by Irma Simonton Black Once there was a little old man who could not read. He just never wanted to learn. His wife went to the store and bought the food, but the little man stayed home and made beautiful toys out of wood. Children all over the world loved his toys, and many wrote to tell him so. But still, the little old man never wanted to learn to read. One day his wife decided to go on a visit. You will need to go to the store, she said. Get a can of soup, a big can of spaghetti sauce, and some spaghetti. Get some sugar, and some milk, and some oatmeal. Eat well. And she kissed the little old man and left. I think the cat wants to go with her. The old man went to the store. There were rows and rows of cans with pictures on them. And there were rows and rows of cans and boxes without pictures. What were they? The little old man did not know, and he didn't like to ask. He bought a middle-sized can. It looked like the cans of soup his wife brought home. He bought a long box that looked like a spaghetti box, and a big can that looked like a spaghetti sauce can. He bought a blue box that looked like a sugar box. He bought a round box that looked like an oatmeal box. And last of all, he bought a square carton. It looked like the milk cartons his wife brought home. Ah, said the little old man when he got home, that walk made me hungry. I shall have some hot soup for lunch. He opened the middle-sized can. It was onion soup. The little old man hated onions of any kind, and onion soup worst of all. Fiddle, he said. Onion soup? I shall save it for my good wife. At dinner time, the little old man rubbed his hands with pleasure and took down the long box that looked like a spaghetti box and the great big can that looked like a spaghetti sauce can. Beaming, he opened the long box, but the box did not have spaghetti in it. It had wax paper. Fiddlesticks and fish fur, said the little old man. Who wants to eat wax paper, even with sauce on it? Not I, for one, but I can eat the sauce all by itself. He reached for the big can. For the first time, he noticed that it had a plastic top on it, so he took that off. That's funny, he said to himself. I never saw a plastic top on a sauce can. I hope this isn't a coffee can. He opened the big can. It was a coffee can. The coffee smelled delicious, but it wasn't much good for a hungry little old man. Shall I have my oatmeal and milk and sugar instead? he asked himself. Then he answered himself, No, I'll have a cup of coffee and go to bed. In the morning, I shall have a nice big breakfast. I wonder if he's fed the cat yet. By the next morning, he was very, very hungry. Oatmeal, said the old man as he jumped out of bed. I shall put lots and lots of milk and sugar on it. Ah! The little old man got the round box and the blue box and the square carton. He put them all on the table. Then he opened the round box. There was no oatmeal in it. It was full of something grainy and white. The old man tasted it carefully. Salt! Fiddles and flutes, said the old man. Who wants milk and sugar on salt? 
he opened the blue box and got a spoon to have a sweet taste of sugar but there was no sugar in the box it was full of little white flakes soap said the old man sadly who wants soap even with milk oh oh how hungry i am he opened the square carton to get a drink of milk but the milk in the carton smelled funny it was buttermilk sour sour buttermilk the old man hated buttermilk but he was so hungry that he drank every drop of it well finally the cat gets something the old man hated onion soup but at noon he was so hungry that he ate the onion soup at night the wife came back the old man was very glad to see her wife he said I had a bad time and the cat looks glad to see her too he told her how he got all mixed up with the cans and the cartons and the boxes the long box was not spaghetti it was wax paper the blue box was soap flakes the round box was salt wife please teach me to read very well I shall said his good wife first the old man learned to read the word spaghetti next he learned to read the word milk then he learned to read the words for everything in the big store and then he learned to read the words for everything in the world but he still made his beautiful toys out of wood and now he could read the letters the children sent to him and he never no never went hungry again I hope you enjoyed the little old man who could not read by Irma Simonton black now go out and read something